What has happened to men? I want to tell you a quick story, very brief. A student left my school. Now, a lot of students leave my school. A lot of students join my school and it happens all the time. But this particular guy, I'm not going to mention his name, left my school a couple of days ago and I found out about it from other students. That's kind of rare. Normally, when a student leaves my school, they say, hey, thanks, Tim, for the education, whatever. Um, I've come to the end of my uh, time here. I've got to do something else now. Uh, but thank you. Goodbye. And I'm like, hey, thanks so much, mate. No worries. Anytime you know where we are, they go, everything's fine. This guy just went disconnected, gone. A little bit upset about it. I'm not upset in a kind of, um, well, I'll tell you what I'm upset about is where have the men gone? That's what I'm upset about. What, what happened to men, masculinity, what I feel we owe to each other. I've spoken before about the need, the necessity. Men need each other. We need to be accountable. That's the main thing to each other. We need to be held to account. I've just got back from rowing for example. And I row with another guy, also called Tim, in the club. He's a big guy. And we're in the boat. He puts a lot of power into the boat. We row in what's called a pair, where we have one blade each. And what that means is, if you're not committed to the stroke, if anyone knows anything about rowing, we both weigh about 230, 240 pounds. If you don't commit to your stroke, then the boat can overturn. So every single stroke you put in, you must be committed to your stroke. You're relying on that guy in the boat to be there, to be in the boat committing to every single stroke. And if you don't commit to a stroke, as I said, the boat can become very unstable, especially at race speeds, and it can be very uncomfortable. The boat can overturn sometimes. So I'm aware of, in my civilian life now, relying on another man. In my flying life, of course, I'd fly with, as I've said before, all nationalities, all races, all sexes, it doesn't matter. And I fly in airplanes and my life is in their hands, their life is in my hands, vice versa. So I'm used to that from aviation. So I run a school and all I ask of my students is they, they just invest a little bit in the school. Obviously, it's subscription-based. But what I mean is when they're in the class and they say they're going to do something, I expect them to do it. I help them to do it. That's what I'm there. I'm an instructor. That's what I do. I help them fly this video game. So this guy decided to leave. Now, the reason that I'm a little bit miffed about this is because about a year ago, I was in my gym, which is ahead of me here. I'm looking at it now in my gym. Uh, it's in my garage. And um, I was just working out. I tend to work out in the mornings. I tend to also, between sets, then check the school because about midday onwards, I'm going to be doing stuff in my school, uh, helping people out, maybe doing some paperwork, admin, that kind of stuff. And I'm in my, in my gym. I'm lifting, doing some stuff. And I, I check the school and I get this uh, message from this guy about a year ago. And he says, um, I'm going to leave and uh, I don't think I'm getting the value from the school anymore. I said, okay, cool. No worries. Hey, look, thank you for being here. I never really try and keep people in. I'd make sure that there's not anything... You know, I make sure I can learn from something. Is there anything that we've done or is a school not, you know, could it be any better for you? And this guy was like, well, you know what? I'm not really flying the jets. I'm flying the helicopters and I don't really want to pay to uh, do the lessons. And I said, well, that's great. You know, I mean, he, I think he was on the lower tier anyway. So he wasn't paying for lessons, but he says, I don't really want to, you know, and I, and I, I said, okay, cool. I said, thank you for, uh, you know, being here and I wish you all the best. He kind of carried on with the messages. In the end, I didn't really understand what's going on. I said, I don't really know what you really want here. You're saying that you don't particularly want to pay. Is that what I'm hearing? You don't want to pay to be in the school, which is about £10 a month. And uh, I said to him, he, he's a bit too backwards and forwards. And I said, look, be a man here. Tell me. what is." It? And he got upset by the fact that I said, look, be a man here and tell me. That, that phrase kind of triggered him a little bit. Be a man. Come on, be a man about it. Tell me what you want. Look me in the eyes and tell me what you want. Now, it was on text messages, you know what I mean? But that's what we should be doing as men, isn't it? Standing, tell me what you want. What is it you want? I have an issue with this because I'm not very good with nuance. My brain is a bit ADHD. I don't, I don't know. You know, flying jets for 20 years, I'm not too sure what my brain is. But I like people to lay it out. Tim, I need you to be here at this time to do this. I'm good with that. I don't see it as offensive. I just see it as a man. Lay I see it as inoffensive. I see that as a very caring way of doing something. Someone has said to me, they want me to do this at this time, at this place. There's no fluffiness there. There's no nuance. There's no, maybe if you wouldn't mind. There's no feeling. I deal on facts. I like that kind of suddenness I like that and that's what I bring in my school is like that guys we're going to teach at this time to the second we're going to do this bang 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 and my students I think appreciate that they can fly elsewhere but they fly with me because I think they they like the boundaries and the purpose that we have in the school because I need them to be there to do something now this guy said he's going to leave 
all right, mate, so what's up? You know, tell me what you want. Like, and he wouldn't tell me what he want. And I said, be a man about it. Tell me what you need, which to me is the kind thing to do. This is about a year ago. And he got upset with that phrase. And I wrote him a nice thing after. I said, didn't mean to offend you, mate. Well, you know, blah, blah. Anyway, so we agreed because he was a very technically minded chap. And he was helping a lot of people out in the school that I'd waive that monthly fee. And he'd help people out. And he was. And for the year, he really helped people out with a lot of technical stuff. Very good guy. I mean, a good dude. Very good brain on him. And he was very technically orientated. And I liked that. That was good. But a couple of days ago, he left. And he didn't tell me he was leaving. Now, I, for the last year, had subbed in myself. I, I paid his subs into the school, which there's only two rules in the school. The first rule is, I'm the boss. That's it. And the second rule is everyone pays. This is because I don't want people in the school not contributing financially because when you get things for free, you don't appreciate them. I'm sure you know that. I'm sure you know that. We have to invest. I pay for everything myself. We have to invest else we're not invested. That makes sense. Everyone pays. This is the one guy in my school that never paid. This one guy, I waived his fee because he was contributing in another way. So I went, okay, I'll waive his, I'll waive his 10 pounds a month. All right. On the lower tier, £10 a month. And he did, and he was really good, really good. Um, however, he left. And he didn't tell me he was leaving. He's gone. But not just gone. Deleting himself from the, the server. Deleting himself from the, the patch, and he's gone. Like, I, if I wanted to, I probably couldn't contact this guy again. He's gone, gone. So not just... And I said to one of my students, said, this, one of his students said, you know, this guy's gone. I said, no, I don't. I, I checked. He's gone. Like, literally, he's gone. I said, what the hell happened there? How come this guy's gone, gone? Without even a DM. Hey, Tim, thanks so much. I'm gone. I'm leaving now. I've got something else. Now, stop, stop, stop. There may be other things going on. We have all complicated lives. We have complicated partners, complicated families, complicated work. We understand that. There may be something going on. I don't know this. I'm not saying the guy's name. Obviously, there's no point. I'm not having a go at the guy. I understand we have these things. What I'm trying to get at is I helped that dude out for a year. I feel, and I would have just have liked that particular, so any student, I'd like any student, to turn around and just say, thank you for that, Tim, for that year. I'm now going to leave. A DM, a one-liner. That's what I feel men should be doing. Even if he was upset me, I'll expect someone to say, Tim, this isn't for me. I, I don't like this. Apparently what the issue was, I've heard, was that he didn't like the politics in the school. Now, the thing about politics in the school is in my school, there is no politics. It's a flying school only. There's no politics at all, apart from in one channel called the public chat channel. The reason we have the public chat channel is so that if people want to post a meme of Trump or Biden or Rishi Sunak or any kind of political stuff, it goes in there because if you don't have an outlet for it, it tends to manifest itself in other places as well. And that means that if someone does post something political in another channel, like I say, not here, mate, put it in the public chat. This guy apparently had seen things in the public chat, I guess politics he didn't agree with, and that upset him. And obviously Teddy's were thrown out of a pram and he decides to leave. The thing is, I don't really even look at my public chat channel because I know there's got politics in there and most people don't really go and look at it. They don't. There's lots of channels you can go to. Uh, and that particular channel, I, I maybe glance at it occasionally. But you can say what you want in there. It's an outlet. Fine. You can mute the channel. You never have to see the channel. This guy decided to look at the channel, didn't like the politics. And as opposed to coming to me and saying, Tim, the politics in the school is outrageous, to which I would have shown him how to mute the channel. He's never got to see it. You're not, you haven't got to look at it. He decided to leave. My argument is here, this is not acceptable for men to do this to each other. This is an ex-military guy as well. That's what I find odd. Now, I know people are going through strange times, but I believe men need to look each other in the eye and say, this is the issue I'm having. Can you solve it? It might be I genuinely can't. I can't solve it. When I'm in the boat with my guy I row with, I say that a lot. I say to him, I, I steer the boat, so I'm at bow whatever I steer the boat and sometimes I say to him you know you're not doing this and he will say well this is happening and we have a full-on one-to-one facing man-to-man -man. we're a crew we have to work it out it's not like we're not going to like everything the other person does of course we're not but as men we have to come together and solve these things now whether we're looking at international politics, whether we're looking at localised politics, whether we're looking at our communities, whether we're looking at small businesses like I run, whether we're looking at sports clubs that we inhabit, we have to act like men, like women, fine, whatever. You take from this what you want if you can. But we do have to tell people how we're losing this now. Can you see this now in society? 
We're losing it. I, I'm not going to bring too much politics in this, but we need to call out bad things. We need to call out the riots in Leeds. We need to call out the riots in London. We need to call out bad politicians. This is not good enough. This society will not exist properly. How we need to exist unless we call out these poor behaviours and we stand toe to toe and we act like adults. If we don't act like adults, the children will take over. And that's what's happening. We don't just leave things where people have invested in your education. You do turn around and you just send them a message. Hey, I'm really sorry. Or leave, fine, but I'll do a video about you. It's not acceptable. That is not acceptable in my school. And what's happening where we're not calling out poor behaviours in society is not acceptable in a country in which I live. Let me know in the comments, guys. All right, let me know in the comments. Normally, I'd promote another video here, but I'm not about that. I'm not about going, hey, and if you want to learn more, watch it. I'm not about that. I'm, I'm like, literally, what I'm interested in is value and standards. I'm interested in the values that we hold and the standards that we display to each other. And if we let this go, you can see I'm a bit miffed. If we let this go, the world around us crumbles. Individual, localised society, communities, we understand it. It's not difficult. So why is it so hard to do? We need to be civil with each other. We need to tell people when things aren't acceptable. We need to tell people how we're going to manifest things being correct in our world. How are we going to do things right? What are we going to do? That's how I feel about it, guys. You know, hey, hit the comments, all right? If you wouldn't mind hitting the comments. I know it's difficult sometimes. If you want me to talk about something else, by all means do so. I use my experiences of my everyday life, having come out of the military after 20 years, and I find it difficult in this society here. I do find it a little bit difficult. I find it a bit chaotic. And it's it's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing for me to find that. I'm trying to work my way through it. I do appreciate the comments because it nudges me in the right direction as well. I feel there's a good society, good community on here on YouTube. Hey, maybe I'm out of line about that. Maybe I've got it wrong with this guy who wanted to leave because he was upset about something in my school, the politics in my school. Maybe my YouTube videos he didn't like. But the, th the truth about it is as well, and I'll leave you with this thought. Mature people are able to hold two conflicting views in their head. Tim, my instructor in the flight school, is a mad racist on YouTube that I hate. Could be your view, which I don't think is true, but let's pretend that's your view. Let's pretend this guy didn't like me because he felt I was a racist or whatever it might be. Throw, the, throw your best term out there. Sexist, racist, homophobe, whatever it might be. And the other view is Tim teaches me to fly airplanes and he makes sure that I uphold some standards. Tim is a mad racist. Tim teaches me to fly airplanes. Most adults can hold those two views in their head and they can separate them. When I flew with guys in the cockpit, there were some people that I didn't like the politics of, but you never really knew about. It. That's why you go to the bar. That's your outlet. We still fly together. That's you keep it off the squadron. You take it in the bar, but on the squadron, you're professional. In my school, we're professional. And what you do outside, whether you watch my videos or not, couldn't care less. I just want to uphold the values and the standards. I think that's important. We need to be able to hold those two views, guys. We need to be able to separate them. That's what adults do. Hey, let me know what you think. I'm interested, really am, what you think. Because uh, this guy, you know, I like this guy. That's the problem. I like the guy. I thought the guy was really good for the school, and I really liked him. And he's gone. And I can't contact him anymore, and I don't even know what is up with him. He might have an issue that I, would, I could help with, and now I can't. I just think that's wrong. I don't think that's what men do to each other. I don't think that's what men should do to each other. I just see society collapsing if we allow this kind of behavior to go unchecked. I appreciate your time, guys. I'm going to grab a shower. All right. Thanks so much. Tim Davies, Flash Informance.